guys, welcome back to GTTV with your first look at the Halo Reach beta, which is coming out on May 3rd. I'm here with Chris, who is the multiplayer lead on the game. Now, Chris, one big thing in Halo Reach is going to be Spartans versus Elites as a game mode, right? That is correct. And uh, Spartans and Elites both have different abilities, sort of uh, inherent ability, like Spartans can sprint, Elites can dodge. They uh, use different uh, sandbox when they enter the game, so uh, they play differently. Like when you start playing the game, you pick a loadout. So you get primary weapon, secondary weapon, grenade type, and then armor ability. Okay. But then once you're playing the game, it's just like Halo. If you see a different gun, you can pick it up. The only thing that you can't exchange is your armor ability. Uh, there's some other modes or other features that you're adding to the game. Uh, assassinations is something else people are really excited about, right? Yeah, assassinations are essentially a fancy melee from behind. It's takes about two to three seconds to actually kill the person with an assassination. Your buddies can save you, so if you're getting assassinated, you can actually be saved if someone shoots the assassin off your back. Right. But it feels so good to assassinate someone. Now, Chris, the Halo faithful are going to ask the question, what about Firefight, which is a big hit in Halo 3 ODST? Are you guys bringing that back for each? So Firefight is not in the beta, and I'm not quite sure what those guys have planned. But yeah. That's all I can say at this moment. Stay tuned, I guess. Right? Yes, yes. A lot of the multiplayer maps are actually kind of based on or inspired by areas from the campaign, right? Yeah, I mean, we went through our standard process with multiplayer maps. We design them on paper, mass them out, get them in there. But then we injected these things at a really early stage into the campaign so that the campaign designers could actually use these spaces as they design that experience. And you're also doing an arena system as well, right? Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so the arena is our internal name for that is Top Gun. So, you know, everyone jokes around about who the best of the best is, but the thing with the arena is every game you play we evaluate you we actually give you a ranking and you a score yes you ranking out of 100 how do you rank now it's more like an sat score where okay. it's sort of this nebulous calculation of how well you've played the game and at okay. the end of every game you see what that rating is you play enough games during that day you get a daily rating okay. and you play enough days you get a season rating but it's all based on your individual performance like even if it's team slayer we're evaluating you as a player and what you're doing specifically in that game Lots of weapons in this game. There are some fairly new ones, right? There's like the focus rifle. That's correct. That's the Covenant sort of sniper equivalent, but it's like the Sentinel beam from Halo 3 where it shoots this long beam and it has a little bit of stun on it. It's actually terrifying to get hit by it. What is your favorite new weapon? That one? We have a couple grenade launchers now, so I think the human grenade launcher is my current favorite because you can actually hold the trigger down and it won't explode. Okay. So you let the thing bounce around and then you wait for the guy to run around the corner and let it go. And yeah, it feels very good. All right, so human grenade launcher, focus rifle, anything else big in this beta that folks yeah, are going to love? The plasma launcher is sort of the covenant equivalent of the human grenade launcher, and that actually launch, launches plasma grenades. But you can launch, I think, four at once. Right. So it's kind of a good way to cover an area with plasma grenades. It's also very fun. They track a little. Right. Now, the uh, SMG is gone, though, right? But, I mean, this is an earlier time frame, and this whole story in the SMG was you know, still in the factory at that point. So, you know, they hadn't finished up with that. Really? They didn't, they didn't have a prototype of that? The armor is much more advanced. Yeah, yeah but that, that was another planet. Okay. That wasn't Reach. I see. Sorry, we're losing that. We're also, also taking a step back that there's no dual wield, right? There is no. No. We tried to actually simplify some components of the game because we're adding armor abilities. So in some ways, it's getting more complex. And we said, what are things we can pull back on a little to just make the experience relatively simple for a new player?